What is going on traders and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Glad to have you. Now in this video, we're going to be going over my watch list for the trading week of February 21st, 2022. Let's get to it. All right, so let's start off with some congrats to those who played some of the tickets from last week's watch list like Shopify, ticker symbol SHOP. Now I did mention that the premiums on this one was pretty high and I wasn't gonna take a chance playing this one to the upside. And the only way that I would play this was some lottos deep out of the money, maybe around the 200 week moving average around $700. And Shopify did get up to around $890 and then sold off all the way down past the 200 week moving average to around 656. That is a huge drop. And if you had played some lottos on this one, you would have definitely cashed on that. Now, I don't see any catalyst that's gonna make this one pop back up to the upside right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if this continued to tank. And the next support level that I have for this one is around $555 and below that $440 or so. So what I may do is buy some lottos a couple of months out with a $440 strike price or so. I didn't check the price, but it should be pretty cheap. So I'm going to buy something like that and just ride it out and see what happens. All right. Now, I didn't play Shopify because I was playing the run up to earnings for NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA. Now, it did run up, and by the time earnings got here, everything was already priced in, so the stock didn't move after hours, and the only direction that it can go was down, and that's exactly what I did. It did. I didn't play uh, NVIDIA, but I played the sympathy play of AMD, and I was trading that one several times last week to the downside all right so that's a quick recap of what happened last week and let's go ahead and take a look at what's coming up this coming week all right all right so the market is closed on monday for president's day but there will be a few companies reporting earnings after hours just in case you're interested now there's not that many companies that i'm going to be watching when it comes to earnings this upcoming week but on the bullish side i'm going to be watching six flags and into it on thursday on the bearish side, I'm going to be watching Block, also known as Square, and a couple of others that I'm just going to be watching to see how they perform and maybe do some sympathy plays off of them. That's going to be Home Depot on Tuesday, Lowe's on Wednesday, Alibaba and Coinbase on Thursday. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ones I'm going to be watching this week. All right. So here we have the QQQ on the weekly chart. And this goal line right here is the 50 week moving average. And for the fifth week in a row, it's closed beneath that. All right. It'd be nice to see if the market could bounce back up right here. But this moving average may serve as resistance right now. So if the market bounces, I'm looking at it to come up and test around $360 and be rejected and then hopefully bounce back up. Now, if the market decides it wants to sell off with uh, more drama between Ukraine and Russia, the first level that I'll be looking for it to hold is around $334. And if it can't hold that down to 316, now understand that the QQQ is a nice index to watch for all tech stocks. So if the QQQ is falling, then your favorite stock is probably falling with it. There are some outliers. And on the inverse side, if the QQQ is running, money is coming into tech, then that means your favorite stock is probably running up with it. OK, so keep your eye on it and these levels for this upcoming week. OK, up next is SPY, ticker symbol SPY. Now, unlike the QQQ that's been under the 50 week moving average for five weeks now, Last week, the SPY closed underneath the 50 week moving average, and it hasn't been below that since the pandemic began and recovery. It broke above the 50 week moving average towards the end of May of 2020, and it's been riding above it since then. But right now it's fell beneath it. And a lot of times these moving averages tend to act as resistance. So. Uh, this is going to be a significant level to watch around $438.50. If the SPY is rejected by this moving average, the SPY could continue to drop down. And if it does, the first level that I'm going to be looking at is around $422.50. If it can't hold that, the next level is going to be 416. 
So you just watch these indexes to get a good idea on which way your favorite plays are gonna be running. So this is what I use, this, the SPY, and the QQQ to see which direction I'm gonna play my other plays, whether to the upside or to the downside. So keep your eye on the $438.50 level to see if the SPY can break above it. If it does, that'd be great. Then the next level that I'm looking at is around $456. Now it gets, if it gets rejected by this $438.50 level, I'm looking for it to drop down to around $422.50, okay? So keep these levels on your watch list and keep an eye on them throughout the week. All right, so the first ticker that I'm gonna be watching this week is gonna be Roku, ticker symbol R-O-K-U. Now here I have Roku pulled up on the weekly chart and this big red candle right here represents around a $60 drop in Roku's price after earnings, which was crazy because Roku had uh, decent earnings. Roku got as low as around $99.50 before bouncing and closing at $112.50. Now, if the market is bullish, I'm looking for Roku to go ahead and recover some of this overreaction back towards $140. Now, if the market is bearish, I'm looking for Roku to hold $100, which is a very important psychological level. If it can't hold $100, I'm looking for Roku to break down and test around 75 or 72 dollars so keep this one on your watch list to the upside and downside okay all right up next is going to be oil stocks like exxon ticker symbol xom now overall oil has been having a nice run in anticipation of more demand by summertime and also oil reaching around a hundred dollars a barrel it was also helped along with the possible invasion of Ukraine by Russia and you can see right here the last two weeks where some doubt came in that Russia was actually going to invade uh, oil started to sell off quite a bit so keep your eye on the news to see what Russia is doing in response to Ukraine now if they start pulling their troops away from the border look for Exxon and other oil stocks to go ahead and keep dipping to around $72 or so now if Russia does invade then look for Exxon and other oil stocks to run okay so just keep all these oil stocks on your watch list or you can just watch the ETF tick a symbol XLE and you can play all of the energy stocks as a whole all right all right, so the last one I'm going to be watching is Digital World Acquisition Corp, ticker symbol DWAC. Now, this is a SPAC that's supposed to be taking the former president's social media website and app public. Now, they're supposed to be opening this application and website on February 21st, which is Monday tomorrow. So I'm just watching this one for entertainment purposes for the most part. So if they have any technical difficulties, if they don't open on time, if they get hacked or anything like that, it's possible that a lot of these investors may not like that and sell it off. Now, if it decides it wants to sell off and tank, the first level that I'm gonna be looking at is around $45. If it can't hold $45, and I'm looking for it to drop all the way back down to around $15. So keep this one on your watch list if you wanna do one of those uh, momentum plays to the downside or to the upside because if they launch on time and everything looks good this thing could possibly pop you can see it got as high as 175 dollars a couple of months ago all right so keep this on your watch list and just play what you see and that is the end of the video if you found value please smash that like button and consider subscribing here's wishing you a prosperous week of trading and until next week talk to you later